Or no, that's a uh, storage. Crossing the street, right to left. Oh my god. Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another episode of Warzone Academy. Your place to learn the best tricks, the best tips, and of course the best strategies for how to win games of Warzone. Last episode we talked about how to win a gunfight even when you're down 2v3. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about how you can hunt down the most kills to get the highest kill game possible, whether it's solos or squads, and specifically how we're going to use and abuse the minimap and the radar and some hidden features that the devs don't tell you about. So let's get right into it. So as you can see here, we have our normal minimap. The minimap is broken up into boxes and then keypads. So for example, this is Foxtrot 3 and then keypads 1, 2, 3, and 4. Fortunately, we don't need to use these because we have a marker. We can just mark on the map. Now, there are some hardcore modes that are hidden in the game code, so we may have, you know, a super tactical map that we have to use in the future. Now, the full boxes are about 375 meters wide, and each individual keypad is, of course, half of that. These measurements don't matter too much, but they will matter when we get to things like this. The game defaults to a circle minimap, and frankly, it's the worst thing you could possibly use. Many of you have probably already opted into using the square, and if you haven't yet, you should. The circle is a max of 113 meters. As you can see here up in the top left hand corner, when I switch by going into options general and then switching square, I now can see this entire ATV up in the top left hand corner that I couldn't see before. This could be an ATV, it could be an enemy, it's additional situational awareness. The square gives you a max of 187, which is a 65% increase in max range, and then overall a 21% increase in total coverage. Moving forward, there's actually something that most people don't know about. You're able to pull up your minimap because you have an audible warning that the game doesn't tell you about directly. As you can see here, I can see enemies all the way over at Superstore, a max of about 250 meters away. Now we'll talk about how this actually looks on your map later on, but it's important to know upwards of 250 meters you can see red dots on your minimap even without having a UAV. Now talking specifically about UAVs, there is a max range. It does not cover the entire map. The only time it covers the entire map is if you pop all three UAVs at the same time, which will give you an advanced UAV. It's kind of a neat little trick, but very seldom used because it's a lot of money. Now, as you can see here, as I move further and further away from Superstore, which is an absolute cluster of gunfire, the UAV only picks up to a certain range. Now, when I measured this out, the UAV only gets to 300 meters. It's pretty surprising that the audible warning can get you upwards of 250 meters, only 50 meters less than your radar. Now, in Season 3, the devs have reduced the range at which you can hear gunfire, especially if it's inside of buildings, the range is reduced even more, which is a great change because, frankly, hearing things from so far away gives the illusion that enemies are actually closer than they really are. Everything beyond that 300 meter range can only be seen if you have that advanced UAV, which once again is popping all three UAVs at the same time, which gives you the location of everyone on the map and the direction they're facing. So how can I use this information to my advantage? I have all of this information about the ranges, but how can I use it to get higher kill games? Well, let's get into it. We all know our basic minimap. You should be using a square, and it's pretty, pretty much reflex at this point. If you see a red dot close to you, you turn and shoot it. If you don't have them immediately on your minimap, they'll actually appear on the perimeter of your minimap, and then when you open up using the touchpad or map or whatever you use, it'll show the exact location. So this is where we get into actually racking up higher kill games. Here's how I do it. So if I see an enemy pull up on the periphery of my radar, I open up my minimap and figure out their exact location. From there, I mark them and then I figure out the exact heading that I need to go and I start walking in their direction. From there, I can either continuously update it with the minimap, but eventually I find their location and get an easy kill. But here's where things start to get a little more advanced, where you actually begin to rack up high kill games. People typically only use their UAV for one engagement at a time. They find a red dot on their map and they sprint towards it, and by the time they finish that gunfight, their UAV is completely up. What you need to be doing is using your UAV for at least information on two different gunfights. The way you do this is, similar to our previous one, you mark an easy target, find someone in an open road, find someone that's close, find someone that you know you can take out, and mark them. Then you're going to turn in their heading, head in their direction, but before you start heading their direction, you're going to use your marker and then mark the separate location of a second target. So that way, even if your UAV goes out, you now know the location of two separate people. Even if you get distracted in your first gunfight, you can immediately head towards a second target and get an easy kill. 
You're now using one UAV to get multiple kills. The more information that you have going into a gunfight, the more likely it is that you are going to win. And this effect is compounded. The fact that you're now winning two gunfights with a UAV means that you're going to be getting more kills, which means you're going to be getting more money, which means you can potentially be stacking UAV on UAV on UAV and go throughout the entire game with the information you need to take out your opponents. Now that's exactly what I do in this gameplay here at the end. It is absolutely textbook. I get UAV on UAV and hunt down enemies and get a really high kill solo game. This gameplay is actually from when Solos first launched a few weeks ago, and I've only refined this tactic and continue to improve upon it, so if you want to catch that live, it's less of a Warzone Academy, but more of a, of a Warzone Exhibition, right? So whenever I stream, I'm really deliberate, even if I'm focused up, I'm talking about my rotations, my thoughts, how I'm approaching gunfights, so everything is very uh, coaching-oriented, and I find there's a lot of value in my streams outside of just watching me play a video game, which, hey, to each their own. But... If you want to find that, make sure to follow me on my Twitch. Let me know down in the comments what type of video you want to see next, or let me know on Twitter as well. And then I'm actually going to leave this gameplay going without any commentary because I provide a lot of commentary in this video. So learn from me, learn how you would see it live, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this Warzone Academy. Make sure to subscribe and like if you did, and I will see you all on the next one. Let's go to this one over here. So I don't like to hit the first shopping cart out of a zone because everyone wants to hit the first shopping cart out of his own. Um, but really, right now, I've got so much damn money. Like, I've got 14k. So I'm gonna be able to pop UAV on UAV on UAV. I've already got self revive bot. Someone just tried to snipe me. Request recon flyover. Okay, no one especially close. So I'm gonna buy my loadout. Uh, with ghost on it. So I have all the guns that I want, but now I'll have my ghost lo ghost loadout perk as well. Let's mark some people while we're at it. So we got someone there and someone there. So Ram 7 ghost. That loses my overkill. Pick that back up and we got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the guys I want. I think there's a sniper way up on the hill though, so I gotta be careful about him. That's how you use a UAV, boys. Now that's the bad thing. Request recon flyover. But I want your money. I just don't want a sniper on the high ground inside the zone shooting at me. Guy here, Moving guy here. Side. Not too worried about the guy on my right. Those guys are up above a ridge. I won't be able to see them. Actually, let's take out the guy on my right first. Looks like he's posted up. And then I'll lead into two people in that village. One guy on my mark. Rotating down. I need to get out of this UAV screen. Gotta remember there are still people with ghosts. Can't handicap myself. Tunnel vision, you know? So as I approach my marker, I'm gonna pop my second UAV, see what I can do. We need radar. Send recon. This is Falcon 3-0. Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. Fuck. Was the repeat really the play, bro? <laughs> UAV is out of fuel. It's starting to be supplied. Ask 
Closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Thought I heard footsteps. Really enjoying the stream. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. I'm super focused up on the game right now. As I get to play the game more, I'll kind of get that... Uh, that ability to play a little more subconscious. Um... But I'm, I'm having to think about my rotations a little more than I'd like to. Um, and so I'm not as active in chat as I normally would be. Man, that guy was a little... Little ninja. Almost snuck up on me. Right in here. Green laser. Get in there, get in there. Ten remain. You're close now. That's why you don't run lasers on your game chat. On your gun chat. That right there. The guy's running cold-blooded. And ghost. But he's got a laser on his gun. What is he thinking? You're smart though? Thanks man, I've been playing a lot of BRs. Especially a lot of COD BRs. I like to explain what I'm thinking about as I'm going through rotations and stuff. Um... Didn't want to take that shot. Let him know that I see him. He's got cold blooded on. He does not have ghost though. What's he going for? I never like to take a shot unless I know I can kill someone. I'm not trying to give up my positioning. Request recon flyover. Fucking Leo. Look up. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. Moving up. I'm gonna wait till this guy gets a little bit closer and then peek him. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to the get one more tick. Yep. Five remaining. Okay, now we got the guy on that high ground. That high ground. Enemy movement there. Gas is moving. We need radar. Send recon. Yep, he's low though. He's not on the roof. Falcon 3 Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. Open field. Alright. Now I'm going to avoid fighting inside of buildings, so I'll no longer have a UAV. I trust my ability to out-snipe people. Hopefully I don't get killed by a little bush, Wookie. Let's go, chat. I, I should have marked that guy sooner. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. He drop? Shit, couldn't tell if he dropped or not. Your work is done. All enemy teams eliminated. Let's go! First solo win! Let's go, baby! I wasn't even paying attention to the top right, top right part of my screen. I didn't know he was the last guy. Huge! All right, first four games. We got a third place, a fifth place, an early death, and a first place. Solos is treating me well, Chad. It's treating me well.